Greetings to you. Welcome to physics class. In our previous class, we looked at how to derive the equation for the conservation of linear momentum. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to use that equation to solve questions in linear momentum. Let's begin. The law of conservation of linear momentum states automatically you have. And so, we have MA, UA plus MB, UB equals to MA, VB plus. I mean, MA, VA plus MB, VB. We write this before, before collision. And this is forward after, after collision. Condition. Now I want to explain something very, very important before we begin. The use of the size in this equation. Momentum is a vector quantity and will be treated as such. What do I mean? If body A is moving in the same direction with that of body B, before collision with velocities, initial velocities UA and UB. If they are moving in the same direction, you have a plus sign here. But if before collision A and B are moving in opposite direction, what do you do? You have a plus sign here. You have a negative sign here. So in this equation, you have you now put a negative sign here. Similarly, if body A and body B after collision move with final velocities in the same direction, with different final velocities in the same direction, what do you do? You put a plus here. But if after collision they move with separate velocities in opposite direction, what do you do? You put a negative sign here. The other condition is when the collision is elastic. When the collision is elastic, but when the collision is inelastic and they collide, body A and body B, after collision, they decide to stick together and move. They stick together and move this way. Then, in that case, you also have a plus sign here, but what you now have is you erase the A and the B because at this time they have different, I uh, mean, they have the same velocity moving in the same direction. If you are able to grasp what I just explained here, you don't have issues concerning any question in linear momentum. Let's look at example number one. Law cities. A ball of mass. 100 gram traveling with a velocity of 1 meter per second collides with a, another ball of mass 100 gram moving at 50 meter per second in the same direction. In the same direction. Take note of this. In the same direction. If they stick together, if they stick together after collision, Calculate their common velocities. Solution. So let's call this. This is our ball of mass. What? A ball of mass. A ball of mass 100 gram will give you. That is 100 gram by 1000. You have 0 0.1 kilogram. That is mass. Moving with a velocity of what? Moving with a velocity of what? 100 meter per second collides with another ball of mass what? 400 gram by 1000 will give you 0 0.4 0 0.4 kilogram. 
both moving in the same direction. But this time, this one is moving at a velocity of what? 50 meters per second. And then, this is before collision. Before collision. Then after collision, body of 0 .0 0 0.1 kg stuck together with 0 0.4 kg and then they move with a common velocity. Let me note, I explain all these things here. Go back to this page and then come back to this particular place. And so our equation becomes, let's call this one body A, and then let's call this one body B. So now I have MA, UA, I told you the same direction, what do you do? You add the vectors. Plus what? Uh, MB, UB is equal to what? Is equal to, so let me take that to the second line. You have. So this is the question for our calculation. MA UA plus MB UB is equal to MB. They have a common velocity. And that is it here. So at this point, we substitute in the values. So our, we have 0 So we have 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times, yeah, 0 0.1, 0 0.1 times 100 times that, so let's, let's compute, we have 0 0.1 times 100, 0 0.1 times 100, we have 10, plus 0 0.4 times 50, you have plus 20, is equal to, so here you factor V out, so you have V into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4, so you have 30, You have 30 is equals to 0 0.1 plus 0.4 equals 0 0.5. So into 0 0.5. So you divide both sides by 0 0.5, both sides by 0 0.5. This go, and then your Your B is equal to 30 divided by 0 0.5. 30 by 0 0.5. 30 by 0 0.5. That will give you 60 meter per second. So therefore, their common velocity is 60 meter per second. Thank you for watching and remember. So you will follow these examples and do other solutions, I mean other questions that are given in the textbook. When next we meet, we're looking at uh, collision and also uh, mechanical energy involved
in Colossians before and Colossians after. Thank you, I'm going to stop this week.